Hey everyone, welcome to the behind the scenes episode of Andrew Talks. I'm Andrew for Andrew Talks, and I'm so excited. I am right now, as you can tell, I'm dressed down. Uh, this is typically one of my jogging outfits. Repping Boston Red Sox right there. There you go. Um, and I usually jog um, before a show, clear my head, come up with any final ideas, all that fun stuff. Uh, prepare for next week's episodes, think of ideas for that. And while I was jogging the other day, I came up with a behind the scenes episode. How cool would that be? So, just for you, and you, and you, um, I'm doing a behind the scenes episode. Uh, I'm very excited about it, but um, if it's going to be behind the scenes, you got to check out everybody and everything. So we're off to wardrobe. Wardrobe, yes, because I can't wear this. Okay, welcome back. We are now in my dressing room. Okay. Fine, fine. It's my bathroom. But it's time for wardrobe, so we need to figure out what I can wear, because we can't wear this, uh, for Andrew Talks this week, and hopefully you like it. And if you don't, if you see another option, let me know, and I'm sure I'll probably wear that next week or the week after that. So I really hope you enjoy um, the options. Here comes option number one. Huh? What do we think? Little sweater action. Okay, its brother was worn around episode three or four, but it's still a great color on me. Okay, uh, that's option number one. Okay, buy option number one. Okay. Option number two, little polo action. You love it? Do you hate it? I don't know, it's a little hot out. This might work, this might work. Okay, that's option number two. Or three. So it's a little classier, a little fancier. I don't know how those stripes are going to come up on TV, on YouTube, and on Facebook. But that's option number three. Hey, it's me for more behind the scenes on Andrew Talks. And now we're in the writing stages of Andrew Talks to get ready for tonight's show. As you can see, I'm at the computer, at the computer desk, uh, getting ready for the show, coming up, uh, checking out the final stories, um, coming up with some jokes, hopefully, that you think are funny. <laughs> okay, hopefully you think they're funny. And, uh, you know, not everything can be covered on Andrew Talks. Not everything is funny. Not everything is... Andrew Talks Worthy, uh, case in point, uh, the Casey Anthony story, so huge across the country right now, that won't be covered on Andrew Talks. It's, it's, it's not something I do. I don't, at least I try not to do that type of stuff. So, um, you know, I'm really excited and I gotta get ready to do the show so it could be ready for late, late Tuesday evening, early Wednesday morning for you folks, because that's what I do for you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And what do you do for me? What do you do for me, you ask? You watch, and I thank you for that. So I got to go. I got to change. I got to get uh, into wardrobe. I got to finish up my final stories. This might be one of them. And, um, yeah, so I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Hey, All my right. friends. It's Andrew from Andrew Talks. I'm ready to talk, and I hope you're ready to listen. Pen in hand, baby. Let's go. Top story of the evening morning, depending, is... It's hot. Guys, it's really hot. It's 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 too hot. It, that's really what it is. It's too hot. And I know it's around the country. So please stay cool. Make sure you're getting plenty of water. Uh, stay in the shade. All that good stuff. The reports I'm getting, 102 in San Antonio at 7 o'clock. 90 degrees in Philly at 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Philly, 90 degrees. Why? It's the upper 80s right now as I'm talking to you. So everybody, please stay cool. It is too hot. It's too, you know how hot it is? It's as hot as that necklace Lindsay Lohan stole to get house arrest. Oh, snap. Yes, I did. Lindsay, you know I love you. Just tee hee, tee hee, tee hee. It's that hot. It's so hot, I'm wearing hot couture. Mm-hmm. Hot, hot, see, yeah, hot couture. I was trying to make a joke, yeah. Shout out to H&M and to Urban Outfitters for the look tonight. Thank you very much. Shout out to them. Shout out! Yes, okay. Next story. There's no place like home, especially for home births. That's right, home births. Mamas having babies at home are up 20%, and especially within the Caucasian minority. Us uh, African Americans and Hispanic folks were a little behind, but that's all right. But it's one out of 97 Caucasian women are having their babies at home. And I ask you, why? Why? Now, I can understand if you don't like hospital food, 
then you should have your baby at home. But I mean, to, to say to Junior, that's where I had you, right next to the coffee table. I don't know. Personally, for me, I just, I think you should, it's just a personal decision. If I were to have a baby, I know I can't physically have a baby, but if I was thinking about having a baby, I would have my baby at a hospital, I think, or on my way to the hospital, or something to that nature. It's, and, well, and then, well, if you have it at home, you, you know, you, you can sleep in your own bed, and uh, you don't have any, you know, other roommates with you or whatnot, depending on your hospital and medical care, you know. So, I mean, it has its options, but I, I'm not getting in no pool or my bathtub. Oh, what a memory. Every time you're in your bathtub thinking about that baby, I, personally for me, I couldn't do it. But if you are interested, you should look into it. There's plenty of safe ways to do it. And um, yeah, for all the mommies out there watching Andrew Talks, maybe consider a home birth or maybe consider going to the hospital. It's up to you. It's your baby. So you do what you want to do. But just don't name your baby coffee table because you don't have your baby near that because that would be a travesty. Don't do that. And don't name your baby travesty either because it's not cute. Thinking it sound like Travis, you know. Make look up what look up what the stuff means. That's all I'm saying. Next door, next door. We going on. We going on. Did you hear about this young man in Indiana? Indiana senior possible felon because he put a blow up doll in his school's bathroom final day of school. Now the reason why he could be facing felony charges is not because it's a blow up doll. It's because. Uh, it was an unidentified package that he brought in after school hours, and it could have been considered, you know, like a bomb, and there was a bomb threat, and the police had to show up, and all that type of stuff. Now, is it worth this young man going to jail over a blow-up doll in the restroom? I say no. I, I don't think it, I don't think it's necessary. Does he need to get in trouble? Yes. Why does he need to get in trouble? Because the prank sucked. That's why. There's no imagination to a blow-up doll in the restroom. Really? Really? If I would have... No, well, let me not say I, because I have no... I want to make it quite clear. I have no connection to this young man and his possible felony charges. But, if I were a prankster, let's say, I perhaps might have done the blow-up doll and also cue music. So every time you walked into the stall, maybe Missy Elliott's get your freak on, get your freak on, would come on, something like that. Or if, because he's a younger kid, um, maybe you could have a contraption that would inflate the blow-up doll every time you open the stall and uh, the new singer sensation Kesha would come on and right when you open the stall, the blow-up doll would pop in your face and you'd hear the music, this place about to blow up. Again, if I was a prankster, that's perhaps what I might have done. But I think it's horrible that this young man would do such a thing to his school on his last day. And his poor future is in just in shambles and who knows what's going to happen. And pranksters out there should be warned and you should think about it next time before you do such a silly act. It's just not right. Don't do it. Don't do a prank at all. It's terrible to prank people and get a laugh out of someone else's misery. That's not funny at all. Finally, final story of the evening, Wiener. Okay, not that Wiener. But it was the National uh, Hot Dog Eating Contest this um, past 4th of July. And um, the one and only Joey Chestnut done ate 62 hot dogs, y'all. That is a lot of dogs. And um, he ate it in around 10 minutes and this is his fifth consecutive title. Joey, God bless you. I can't barely swallow two hot dogs. 62 in about 10 minutes? Ew. I'm sorry. That's that's the best way to put it. Is ew. That is nasty. 62. What is wrong? Oh, your poor stomach. And then I don't want to even imagine what it's like sitting on that toilet trying to get rid of 62 hot dogs. Oh my God. I went there. I went there, Andrew Talks. We, this is episode nine. You should be used to it by now. I went there. I went there. That's really all I have. Um, and uh, that's all the stories I have. And the reason why I'm cutting it short, why you ask, why did you just cut it so abruptly short? It's because I'm sweating like a hooker in church right now. It is hot, hot in this studio. And uh, the crew, then forgot to turn on the AC, y'all. The crew 
the crew might be fired after this week because honestly, I got, I'm going to fan myself through the rest of this. But you know what I always say, make it great. Whether or not you got air conditioning or not, please, those temperatures, high temperatures are nothing to play with. So make sure you get yourself a water or a fan or whatever you got to do, baby. Just stay cool. But make it great. Have a great morning. Have a great night. Have a great evening. Have a great life. Make it great. And I will see you next time for Andrew Talks with Andrew. I'm Andrew. I'm going I'm, I gotta go. I mean, I'm gonna get me a glass of water, some lemonade, some iced tea or something. How, how could you not put on the AC? At least a fan so I can have the, you know, the movie star hair magic and Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye y'all. Bye. Ooh, it is, oh my gosh. It is